Hey guys, this is Bill Thomas with BJJWeekly.com, and uh, today I wanted to give you um, some background and a little tour of MGInAction.com, which we're reviewing over on the website. Uh, make sure to check out the review on the website because we cover a lot of things over there that we don't do in the video. But I thought the video was important because um, there's some unique things here on the website that you really need to see to understand. The website focuses on Marcelo Garcia, who's a four-time world champ, three-time ADCC champ, and, and a lot of people say one of the, the most exciting grapplers in the world to watch. And he's got an amazing game, uh, and he's an amazing teacher, which is a unique combination. Uh, and then his partner, business partner, Josh Waitskin, uh, and Josh, uh, before coming to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, was a, a, a eight-time national chess champ and two-time world champion in Tai Chi push hands. And he became really interested in learning. He wrote a book called The Art of Learning. And he took a lot of those ideas he'd been studying and thinking about and used them to design uh, and some of his experience with some chess uh, study programs and used them to design this site. And so some of the things we're going to look at are what makes this site unique. And once you understand, you know, where they were going, it's not immediately obvious, but once you understand where they were going uh, with that, uh, it, it really is a powerful tool, I think, that can help your game a lot. If you decide you want to check out the site for yourself, you can go and sign up. When you sign up, if you put in uh, BJJ Weekly as the code, uh, they'll give you a free week to check it out, and then you can have a little time to see if it's something that that you want to uh, that you want to keep going with. All right, so let's get started. So when you first log in, you come to this this uh, kind of welcome page here. You log in, and then most of the action that we're going to talk about is on the training database, and we're also going to cover uh, briefly the the my page. So let's go over to the training database. Now, this library is huge. They film everything that uh, that Marcelo does. Um, he teaches class just about every day. Uh, he trains just about every day. He's still an active competitor. And they film all of that, and then they break it down. They have a couple of guys who work there, you know, all the time, breaking the film down, applying tags to it so that they can load it into the database, and then we can pull it up in all these different ways. And, and really, when you're dealing with a database, you know, how you get the data out and what you can do with it is, is what makes it so valuable. And that's what's really unique about this site. It makes it different from just a, a, a traditional kind of library of techniques. And so uh, right now there's about uh, just just under 5,000 videos in the library. You've got a few different ways that you can access those videos. You can see here there's a search. You can select gi or no gi or both. Uh, you can do a keyword search. Um, I found that I really enjoy actually uh, using this, this browse tree right here. And you can just sort of go through. And earlier I was looking at guard and bottom and come down here sweeps and I was looking at these hook sweeps from butterfly and Marcelo you can see there's 660 646 videos that deal with that topic so Marcelo does this a lot now if I click on that what it's gonna do is it's gonna load up this uh, section over here I call it the video selection window I'm not sure what the real term is but I load it up over here and then we can slice and dice it by these different uh, tabs so let's take a look. Let's click on that. Now, every once in a while, I've noticed the site will have a little bit of lag. I think it's because it's it's chugging through so much content, um, and it depends on when you get on. Okay, so it's going to load up those 646 videos right over here in the video selection window. And what's interesting about this now, if you look up here, We've got a few different, uh, I call them in the review, contexts. So there's talk, talking about hook sweeps from butterfly. There's fundamentals, and this is instructional, as you can see, both fundamentals and advanced. So he's got 10 different uh, teaching segments that he, he teaches this hook sweep from butterfly. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at, you know, what would be like kind of the most basic way to use the system. And, and here... So we we could either search, or in this case, we browse down to our hook sweep from Butterfly. It brought it up into the video selection window. We clicked on Advanced, and now we want to watch the instructional for the over-under uh, control from Butterfly hook sweep. So we can click on here. That'll take us right to, to watching the video, but I've actually found that I prefer this little pop-up uh, window here. And that brings the video up, but it doesn't lose my place while I'm trying to navigate. So I can move this around the screen. There's a few nice little features on here. You've got a slow motion you can select uh, from. If things are moving too fast, you can just slow it down. You've got your volume. You've got a zoom here. You can go full screen. We'll talk about these these little buttons here and, and this in, in a minute. Uh, those turn out to be really important later on. 
Every video has its own little description down here. Um, gives you some more information. I mean, you can make a comment on the video if you want. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click play. We're going to listen in on the video for a second and just uh, just get a little taste of the instruction. By every time you get in the hook, I have to choose as soon as possible the side that my underhook is going to work. If he has a side that he land, his underhook is going to work. It's going to be the opposite of his underhook. And that is a side that I land that is going to make my underhook work. Okay, so you can tell the, the video is, is nice and clear, very good quality. The audio is pretty good. Marcel is an excellent teacher, and his English is, is excellent, so there's no trouble understanding him. An another unique thing about these is that he's actually teaching, you know, to the class. So it doesn't get you that dry kind of studio quality sometimes you get with, with a lot of videos that put you to sleep. So he's engaging, he's a answering questions from students as he goes through. Um, it's really just like being in class. Okay, so that, that would be an example of like the most basic way that we could use this. And you can, you can just keep doing that. You can watch, you know, whatever videos you want. These are all technique videos that he's teaching here. Um, so for this particular technique, you can see we've got 48 different teaching opportunities. You can see there's gi, no gi. Uh, he's teaching with different guys and, and, and all different uh, little variations, but all with this hook sweep, which again is a, a huge part of his game. Okay, guys, so we just uh, watched kind of, you know, one of the most basic ways that you can use this, which is, uh, you know, to go in, search for a technique, watch the technique, and, and you're good to go. You notice there's some other tabs up here. We're going to show you one that, that really makes this a pretty amazing system. So we just watched Hook Sweep. We're going to go to Inaction. Now, Inaction is a series of clips that are very, very short. And what they've done is they've taken all of his kind of sparring rolling sessions and whenever he's done this hook sweep uh, from Butterfly that they've been able to catch it, they clip it out and they tag it. And these might be 8 seconds or 15 seconds or 20 seconds. And it's just a whole series of videos of him doing this in actual sparring sessions. So you can go from watching the technique over here, click in action. You can see there's 345 of these little clips. And they have what's called a queue. So you can load this page to your queue. And if I just click this... What happens is every video, I think there's 25 of them on this particular page, that has to deal with that hook sweep, loads up into a little queue here, and we'll see in just a second. So you can click play, and I'm going to do that in a second, and we're going to be able to watch over and over and over again Marcelo executing the technique in a live sparring session with different guys, different sides, different grips and controls, different situations, but the same technique. And this turns out to be such an amazingly powerful way to actually um, kind of ingrain the, mem the memory of the movement into your head. So if you just watch this and within a short amount of time, you know, five, ten minutes, you've watched him execute the move, you know, dozens of times. And again, against different guys, different situations, but the same technique. So you know uh, the technique in real life uh, rolling is never the same as the technique in training. But you get to see how he adjusts, how he adapts. over and over and over again, Marcella executing this hook sweep. You know, the stuff works. I found that after I watched a series of videos like this, maybe five, six, seven times, the technique really stuck for me, and I really kind of understood what he was doing. And it, it came a lot easier. Uh, this is actually uh, Pete here getting dumped. See you, Pete. So... Definitely something you want to check out. It's a really amazing feature and, and uh, one of the key points of this that makes this such a unique system. Okay. Now, if you're going through different techniques, you can actually add those manually to your uh, queue if you'd like. You can remove them from your queue. If we go and sort, let's say, by the oldest first, we should get some that weren't in that queue. Okay, so here's the oldest ones. Um, but you can see this, this little green button right here. You can add this video to my queue. I can add these manually to my queue. So now, if I want, I can actually go to directly to my queue, and I can watch that. This in-action toolbar is what lets me do that. 
my video cue. And you can see I've got this whole queue here. And it's all the things I, I selected with the one button first, and then the ones I've manually added just came to the bottom of this. So if I click this button, it will just launch and play all these videos. And there we are again. So this is really, really good, this queue idea, especially for studying the inaction. And we can empty it. Okay. Especially for studying the inaction sequences. And it's really good for uh, like a one, you know, for a for a single study session. Next, I'm going to show you a feature that they've got, which is good for like a longer term study session as opposed to just a quick one time. Okay, guys. So now let's take a look at a feature called My Collection. So on this, uh, we're back here at the uh, the Hook Sweep uh, series, and we've got the advanced uh, instructionals up. There's this Add to My Queue, which we already looked at, and the red one here is Add to My Collection. So if I want to add this to a collection that I want to keep over a long period of time, you know, whether that's for two days or two weeks or two years, I can click this and it brings it to my video collection. Now, what's cool about the video collection is you can organize it any way you want. So let's say I want to call this sweeps. I can put it into a sweeps folder. Or maybe I want to teach it at class you know, next Thursday, you know, whatever the date is, 5-04-2011 class. And that way I can review it right before class um, so I can put it in that folder. Or maybe I've got something here that I think might work against somebody who's been giving me particular trouble uh, in training. So I can just put his name there and get a special folder for him of techniques that I, I want to work on for that guy. Really any way that you want to organize these videos you can in your My Collection. I submit it, and now it's in my collection. And I can get there a couple of different ways. I can either use the uh, inaction toolbar that we used uh, last time. Uh, there it is in my collection. Or I can go to my page. And you can see in my page, there's my collection. And I click on Pete, and there's the, the video that I just dropped in there. So my collection, very cool way to create kind of a long-term library of techniques that you want to reference back for whatever reason. Okay, guys, so we've looked at the MyQ and My Collection, which are two really, really kind of powerful ways to, to use a system. Uh, let's go back to the training database. We'll look at a couple other quick things and, and then um, wrap it up. First off, today I'm recording this. It's the 29th of April. <clears throat> you can see there's already technique up here for, for today. So this is kind of your daily, uh, your daily technique. Those are yesterday's techniques. So if you just come to the website really quick, this is the stuff that, that happened yesterday and last night at class. You can see every day there's new, there's new technique, new video. So this is your daily uh, kind of window into what's the freshest on the site. Okay. We talked about uh, all these tabs, the two instructionals, fundamentals and advanced. We talked about the inaction, which are the quick little clips. The sparring is actually the full sparring session. So for instance, you see there's Hook Sweep from Butterfly in here because he does it in this role. But if we were to clip on this, uh, click on this role, do that, and I actually click directly on the video this time instead of doing the pop-up so you can see kind of how the, the interface changes. The sparring sessions are, are generally quiet, but uh, you never know who's going to be in here. This is this is whoever he happens to be sparring with that day, and it goes through the full roll. You can see this one's four minutes and ten seconds. They have some different time frames that they do, but that'll take you through a full sparring session. And there's a couple other tabs to look at. Drills. There's not a lot of drills, but there are some drills that he's got in here. And then uh, discussions. And honestly, these these are are really good the discussions that are in here I wish there was some more um, because I really like to hear you know Marcelo talk about the concepts and strategies behind what he's doing so this might be different from like a technique where he's just showing you the actual technique but he's really getting more into theory a little bit so the discussions are really interesting um, so those are your different tabs you saw me use the sort feature you know by title by highest rated most viewed newest oldest that sort of thing we looked at the new ones. We've looked at this browsing techniques. Another thing that can happen is uh, you can look at the daily archives, or <clears throat> if you know something happened on a particular day, you can look at it. Another thing that'll happen is if you if you do click on a particular 
uh, video, and I have not used this a lot, but I have some, and it's kind of cool. So we're watching this video, underhook and head control, uh, bridge sweep from half guard. And then over here, you'll see that there's research suggestions for you. So based on what this video is tagged with, it will actually uh, give you some suggestions um, of other videos that you may want to watch. And then related ones, maybe there are counters or variations on the technique, and these ones are uh, more directly related. And then it also gives you related the sparring sessions. So if you just want to see the sparring sessions, I think you can, uh, maybe you can't collapse that. But you can come down here and see the sparring sessions um, and if there's any competition videos for that uh, technique. So that's kind of a quick uh, overview. There is a forum. It's not super active. You know, the academy is more related to Marcelo's uh, academy down there. Um, so the real meat of, of it is in this training database. And then there's also this, uh, this My Page section here where you've got your collection. Um, you can set some different uh, preferences and things like that. So again, MG in action, super, super powerful uh, way to uh, use video training uh, to help develop your game. The technique's you know, amazing. Marcel is a great teacher. I definitely recommend that you sign up for the free week. Use the BJJ Weekly Code. Get your free week. Check it out. Play with the site. See if it's something that you would use. I'm definitely using it. And, you know, I can't tell you how helpful it's been for me. So this is Bill from BJJWeekly.com. Hope you enjoyed that look at uh, MG in action. And uh, have a great day.